Now, after five decades of fighting and more than 200,000 lives lost, the Colombian government has reached an historic deal with the FARC rebel group. While the deal still needs to be ratified by the public in a referendum, it has provided hope of a more peaceful future for the country. Dora Glotman has this update from the Colombian capital, Bogota. The Colombian government of Juan Manuel Santos and the FARC guerrilla have announced what could be the end of a 52-year-old war that has left over 200,000 people dead in this country. It happened yesterday in La Habana, Cuba, where after three years and nine months of negotiations, they announced they had reached an agreement on a six-point agenda. Some of the most critical points in that agenda have to do with justice. Of course, there will be amnesty for most of the 6,000 guerrilla men and women today. Those that confess to war crimes will receive a sentence of between five to eight years, but not in jail. They will be in rural areas, in limited areas, which they will have to be confined to. Those that do not confess their crimes could face up to 20 years in jail. Now, the FARC, which has been a guerrilla for the last 52 years, will now be a political party. They have been assigned five seats in the lower house and five seats in the upper house of Congress. Initially, they will have a voice. They will be able to participate in some of the debates related with the conflict, but they will not be allowed to vote. That would only happen after the 2018 elections. Well, they will have to be elected by popular vote, and then they will be able to vote in Congress. Also, the FARC has made an agreement with the government to tell the victims of those that have died, the families of those that have died, where they have buried them, where they lay their bodies, and what happened to them during their last days. Now, next week is a crucial moment. The guerrilla will be meeting with their men and women in Meta to tell them what they agreed to with the government. But the most important date here in Colombia is now October 2nd. The Colombian people will vote yes or no. If they vote yes, that means they go forth with the peace agreement as it has been agreed so far. If they vote no, everything that has been negotiated in Cuba up to now will be pretty much useless. From Bogota, Colombia, Dora Glotman. But joining me now is a man who knows uh, FARC well. He's photographer Jason.